welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an update on my spring twist uh so if you want to know some pros and cons then stay tuned so i'm gonna try to make this quick i really don't have any cons about this particular hairstyle or the hair or anything like that I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little bit about what I experienced and recommendations basically and to clarify some things in my last video. So if you haven't seen the initial video or my review on this hairstyle then I will link that of course in the iCard above and go ahead and check that out. So basically I've had these twists for four months. Now, if you're going to wear yours for four months, I highly recommend that you do retwist them at least one and a half months in if you're going to keep them in long. So make sure you retwist them. I have retwisted my whole entire head at least once. And the parameter and in the back, I have at least retwisted those at least every two weeks. And the only reason why I had, I had to retwist my parameter and in the back is because I don't know if it's because I'm just not a good braider and the hair is, is slip, it slips down my hair shaft. So I'll braid it and the hair, the hair will slip down here. So I don't know if that, if that's because I'm not a good braider. I don't know if it's because the hair texture or maybe it's just regular wear and tear and manipulation by me pulling it up in a ponytail for work and stuff like that because i have to have it above my collar but um it is a good protective hairstyle you just have to really make sure you're re retwisting it because it does get frizzy i don't know if you can see it but it does get like really frizzy and they kind of slip down a little bit so um you know, make sure you're washing and moisturizing and uh, making sure your hair is not neglected. Your hair is not neglected. So, so if you're going to keep them in long, make sure you're doing those things. Retwisting, um, nurturing your hair appropriately. So this is four months in. They are getting a little raggedy. So after I get done showing you my update, I'm definitely taking mine out. One, because... Um, right, I, got, I'm just, I got some wigs to try out and stuff like that. And I just need to really get to my head and see the status of my hair. So a lot of you also mentioned the color. You really couldn't see it. Um, does it even really show what's a 1B33 look like? I'm going to install pictures of what it looks like in the, in the sunlight in a little bit more better lighting because the lighting that I have here is really not um, displaying the real color of this hair. So I'm going to put some pictures in here so you can see that there is a light color to it. It's like a gold, it's like a golden brown type of color. It's got like brown highlights in it. It's really pretty. So, um, it's real subtle, but you can see it in the proper lighting. So I will definitely put pictures of that. Other than that, that is it. You're gonna get a lot of compliments. Um, I really like this hairstyle. I got a lot of compliments. Um, it's really cute and um, I've seen other people wear it. And I think I'm gonna try bigger twists next time. I haven't seen anybody do big twists with spring twist hair. You are seeing a lot of passion twist, and that's a different type of hair that's being utilized, but I haven't seen anybody use bigger with spring twist with the spring twist hair. So I think I'm going to try that. I may give it a go first without off, off camera, and then I may try it if it's successful on camera. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, you might want to click the bell. I am inconsistent. So, <laughs> I post when I can, honey. I post when I can. So, you might want to hit that bell so you can get the video when it comes to a YouTube inbox near you, okay? Oh, one other thing I forgot. About the parameter of the hair. Um, one thing, if you're not a good braider, the rubber band method may work, okay? So, 
what I had to do for some of my hairs in the front because my hair was really short in the front I first tried to braid it and the hair would slip out so then what I did was I used the rubber band method which I'll try to link a clip in here I used the rubber band method and I just twist I'll show you but I twisted it and it still looks like I twisted the hair in so that is another option for those of you who don't know how to braid and you still want to try this style try the rubber band method I know rubber bands uh, y'all iffy on it but oil them up put some oil on it and put it on your hair you should be fine I had to do it for at least two or three of them in the front and I haven't had any hair loss or anything like that so um, try that and see if that's gonna work for you but um oh oh also um uh, as you can probably tell they mine are a little bit longer so if you don't want to spend a lot of time just twisting your hair all the way to the length you can also use a blow dryer now i got this from a girl i can't remember her name i'm sorry i can't i can't can't i don't, I can't, I don't remember your name okay but um she recommends blow drying it to get a longer length so instead of sitting there twisting the length away just twist it put them in get them in and if you want it to be longer just go ahead and blow dry it so all i did was hold them down and then i just blow dried it out so definitely try that so you can tell mine are a little bit longer than they were in the uh, initial video because i did try that to see if it worked and it does work very well. Um, now that is now it. So if you have any other questions or if you have tried the big twist before and you are a YouTuber, please let me know down below so I could come to your channel and watch you. All right, you guys, until the next time, I hope you're having a good year and this is my final B-Y-E. Bye.